Hello folks, Clyde Lindsay here from Pixel Pro Displays. Thank you for joining us in this little tips and tricks video that uh, I've, I've been kind of a little behind schedule getting some of these to you guys, but um, this is going to be a kind of special one. So uh, there was a great question in the group earlier today, and uh, I figured it's time for just a quick tidbit video that teaches you about extending preset effects or extending effects or grabbing multiple effects. Now, uh, before we get into that today, this video is brought to you by the PPD Sequence Club. Whenever you join the PPD Sequence Club, you get an awesome, professionally sequenced song each month, brand new to the PPD store uh, with your membership. You also get access to our PPD affiliate program. If you go to ppd.com forward slash affiliates, you'll see a number of the vendors that are affiliates of ours uh, that some of them do offer discounts. And if you go, uh, once you log in, you get access to the codes and the discounts. And some of them are even linked to your account using your email address between our site and their website, such as Wired Watts and Boscoyo Studios. But we also have another of other vendors that help support us and we support them as well. CCL controllers, Matos Designs, All Layered Up 3Ds, Scott LED, Twisted Decals, LED Stringers, Cool Tees. Um, we also have Showstoppers in here, uh, Holiday Sequences, and uh, we also have CFOL. Um, wired watts again and extreme lighting displays for the folks that are down under so check out the PVD sequence club get an awesome sequence and uh, and it's new to the store it's awesome uh, get signed up awesome sequence so let's get right into this so um, this is right now it is uh, it's 540 Wednesday August 21st uh, 2019 so that'll date the video and show you that uh, this is definitely a newer video for today but you know two years from now somebody's gonna listen to it and say that's not new but the concepts hopefully will remain the same and uh, as of right now all of the presets for the month I, I do have to put up the the fourth preset for uh, the month and it's it's going to be available after I post this video but um, what I wanted to show is not what the presets do but how to manipulate the presets so uh, the, the question that was asked in the group was how do I extend out effects and click and drag and move them. So sometimes we have these things called a timing grid. So over here, I just created a simple animation. This is literally only a 30 second animation right there. And um, when when you consider that uh, the the animations uh, are, uh, you know, only you're only looking at uh, like a specific timeline. So if you're in a song and you have a waveform here and you're trying to match up something, you might be using the waveform. But notice that I don't have any timing marks laid down. Let's go ahead and lay down a couple timing marks and see what happens. Now, it doesn't matter to me where they're at, but look what happens whenever you click on a timing mark and things aren't lined up with the timing mark. Let's say you wanted to move all this stuff over so that it was lined up with the timing mark to start with wherever that point is. So what you can do is, first of all, you can deselect and you can click and drag. So if no timing marks are are selected at all over here. You can click and drag and select all the all highlighted effects and then holding the shift key on your computer on your on your um, uh, keyboard that is and hovering over the right side or the left side you can grab these and notice the timelines going with me I don't want to do that so let's let's try re-grabbing that that's kinda of funny uh, timing marks do move by the way so there, I've got all of them highlighted. They're all little purple lines on there. That's the default color. And we can drag them down. So now that we've got them kind of mixed in with this line here, let's go ahead and reactivate the line. Notice how I, it, it, if I zoom in here, I zoom in, I got it right nailed right down to the line. Maybe you have to move it left and right just to get it to where you want it to be. So that's one thing. Now let's consider how do you extend an effect and make it longer or shorter. So keep in mind that this effect here, this this specific effect, we can we can try to line it up here. You know what? Let's do this. Let's say we want to take this whole effect right here. I'm going to deselect the timing marks here. Let's say we want to take this effect and put it in this box, but yet this box is going to be yay big. Okay? So it's too big to fill in the box. I'll move this all down out of the way. And so in order to get these inside this box, there's a couple ways to go about doing this. So let's say you want this effect, the, the whole effect, to stretch the entire length. All we're going to do is we're going to select half of the effects. And you notice only half of the effect is lit up, not the whole thing. That means if I hold the shift key down right here and I grab a hold of it, I can extend out only the one side. 
to the timing mark. Now if we put the timing mark down, look what happens. And you can see we landed right on that timing mark. So now what about this side? Well, we got to move all of these over here over to there. So let's deselect the timing marks again. I'm going to move this one over because the way I built this effect, they are layered. So I had one starting here and going to the middle. A little bit over the middle. And now I'm going to grab everything here and I'm going to move it down. But I selected the whole effect here, but I only selected half of the effect on these. And watch what happens. I can move the whole thing, and I can line it right up with that line. And now it's all set on that timing mark. Okay, now I can extend this out a little bit further. So it's a little bit of manipulation just to get things working the way that you want them to. Um, but you can certainly move and manipulate and and adjust your timings and so forth on uh, on on your effects and so forth. So now, what about this effect here? This preset wasn't lined up really well. I don't know who did that one. It's probably me. Um, but it, they all don't start exactly in the same manner. So if we select it, here's the here is the um, here is how the effect looks. And uh, what if we wanted to move these around? So so a couple other things that you'll want to know is we can line these effects back up if we use the arrow keys. So uh, maybe whenever I was sequencing, I was trying to fit this with a certain number of other effects. But let's say you want them all to match up. All you have to do is you can select the whole thing. If, um, uh, oops, I did the wrong. I want to deselect the timing marks here. You can select the whole thing and get a hold of them all, and then we can move them to that start point where you want them inside that timing. So you're moving the whole effect. You can individually grab half of it, and you can drag out and extend it and shorten it and so forth. So if you need it to be that long, that's fine. Um, but also, if we activate our timing marks, now check this out. Now, if you, if you just s click on the one side, and I'll, I'll zoom in here. If you click on the one side of the effect, it only highlights the, the one side that you've clicked on and selected, right? Okay, what you can do is use your arrow keys on your keyboard, and you can inch it out. Inch, and it pops right over there, okay? So, look, I can move it. I can make it shorter. See how it's the same length? It's here. It's still at the end. Or we can extend it out to the edge just by clicking on it, only one side. Now, if you have the whole effect selected, it will hold its size, and you can click it one timing mark or one notch uh, one frame you can click it one frame ahead okay so that's a way for you to manipulate the effects and move them around but what about some other things like this effect here is only is only this long and this effect here is this long and this effect is this long let's say we want all of the effects to be the same length as this effect here there's an easy way to do this and how we do this we select all of the effects and I, I, I didn't unselect the timing mark. Now I'm going to hold down the shift key on my keyboard, shift, and I'm going to hover over and click on the effect that I want everything to match. And there's a lot of these. You can go through and, and check these out for yourself. We're going to click on this one, see how it highlighted it. And we're going to right click. And we're going to go to this alignment function. And when we go into alignment, we can match the duration of all these effects to that specific effect. So I'm just uh, I, I'm just hovering over here. Now I still have the shift key held. I don't need to. I'm going to let it go. And then I'm going to select match duration. Now all of these effects are just helter skelter, but they're all matching the same length of this effect here. Okay, now here's another thing that we can do. Once again, we can click and drag and select them, and we can do a couple other things. Let's say we want all the effects to line up at the beginning of this pinwheel right here. So I'm going to hold the shift key down and click. After I press the shift key, I'll, I'll click on the pinwheel, right click, go to alignment, and now we have a couple options. We have align, align start times, align end times, align both times, align center point. So you'll have to play with all of them to figure out what they all do. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. You can match the center points, but we know that they're all the durations are matched right now. Let's just match the start time to that first one and watch what happens. It moved all of the start times to here, but now, oh, what happened? It shortened all these effects. So what we can do is we can come over here and make this the length that we want it. We can, once again, click and drag, hold the shift key down, click on the effect that you want everything to match. We can right click, and we can hit alignment, 
and then we can do match duration. And now you've successfully created all of your effects in the same length. Now, this does take some practice. The hard part is remembering, okay, select everything first. Hold the shift key down, step number two. Step number three is select the effect that you want to uh, 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 arrange. And then if, when they're all the same, it's not really going to do anything with alignment. But see how it says start times, align end times. If these are different sizes, and we've already kind of aligned them and so forth, that's the hard part is remembering. Click and drag, hold the shift key down, find the one that you want everything to emulate off of, and click on it, click on the edge. Once it's highlighted that opposite color, right click, alignment, and that opens up this menu. If you don't hold the shift key down, here's what's going to happen. Right, uh, just click and drag, right click, and alignments, nothing is available. So step, step number one, select, or uh, highlight and drag, and then step number two, select the one that you want everything else to do similar to. And it will take some practice to get used to this. It, it does take some finesse after a while, you do get used to it. And then you have the options to make these alignments and so forth. So that's your tips and tricks for today. I know this is rather uh, a little longer than I wanted to go, and I went into a lot more detail this time. But um, I feel it's important that you get kind of a full story, especially whenever we're getting into sequencing season, getting the show set up and everything. So uh, like this video if you like it. Share it with the crazy Christmas light friends if you love it. Remember to hit the subscribe button on the bottom right-hand side of the screen right now. I added that cool little ribbon there. And uh, get subscribed. Hit the bell for notifications so you know when we get an awesome new video out to you guys. And as always, join the Facebook PPU Pixel Pro University Facebook group to get answers to your questions uh, answered professionally and quickly and happily so guys thanks for joining us and again if you appreciate these videos and you want to see more content like this please consider joining our ppd sequence club that shows us that you support our channel and you support the things we do here at pixel pro displays not just for the lighting community but for everybody in general so thank you for joining us and we will see you in the next video down through the chimney with those and me sam and every time it rains it rains <laughs>